Great work today, guys. We saved the day once again. Anakin, you didn't even do anything. It was all Ahsoka. At least let me have the spotlight for once, Master. I did something good. Technically, this was a team effort. We're a package deal. Everyone knows I taught her everything she knows. No, you didn't. Half of what I know is because I had to fend for myself while you're off doing something impulsive. That's just my method of teaching you, Snips. Better get used to it. Anakin, that's no way to teach your Padawan. Why don't you do what I did for you? I'm trying to find the hot singles in my area, Master, not be the hot single, if you get what I mean. At least the other Jedi Masters help give me pointers in between missions. Ah, oh, that reminds me. How is Master Plo doing, Ahsoka? I heard you went on a mission with him a few days ago. Oh yeah, he's fine. Actually, I just remembered that he told me to tell Anakin something about a Lothcat being let out of the basement again? Holy crap, turnips! I'm coming, buddy! Anakin, we have a show to be- Oh, why do I even try? What the? When is he coming back? We don't even have Padme today. That boy has no attention span. We only have to do this for like ten minutes and he can't even help himself from running off. I didn't even know he had a loth cat. I let him have a pet when he was a young Padawan. He had some serious attachment issues, as you can imagine, and he couldn't sleep at night. I wasn't about to start cuddling with him in bed, so I got him a loth cat. Aw, oh, that's kind of sweet, Master. I knew you were a big ol' softy under all that stress. Oh, Anakin can be annoying, I suppose, but I still love him, like a little brother. Guys! Turnips is missing! Master Windu must have let him out again! I don't know where he went. When I find that son of a gun dark, I'm gonna make him wish he- Anakin, relax! We don't need to resort to violence, as much as I'd love to give Master Windu a good lesson in humility. We'll find your Lothcat, Anakin. Look. Why don't you see where he ran off to when you go to the World Between Worlds to find the guest for our episode? Oh, right. I always forget we have this super convenient plot device at our disposal and our disposal alone. Yep. It's super cool and convenient. Doesn't break any rules of the universe at all. It's my turn to get the guest then? All right, I'll be right back. And off he goes again. I'm nervous to see who he brings on this time. Yeah, he doesn't have a great track record. Two Sith Lords so far. I'm starting to think he has a problem. Starting to think he has a problem? I'm surprised it's taken you this long. Anakin has a lot of problems, Master. Oh, you're right. I'd be more concerned if he made a normal choice. Uh, guys, you might want to come see this. What's going on, Anakin? Just get in here! Oh, great. What now? What the hell is that? I don't know. The world between worlds looks like it's broken or something. Well, that can't be good, right? What the hell could have caused that? Uh, well... Last episode, we did make kind of an oopsie. Snips, what did you do? More like, what did you do, Anakin? You killed the guest we pulled from the world between worlds. I had to throw the corpse back through the portal. I guess it didn't like that. So what? It should have liked that. It's like a human sacrifice. Who doesn't enjoy seeing the blood of innocence? What is it with you and murdering people all the time? Trauma, Master. Trauma. Did I hear someone say trauma? Whoa, who the hell are you? Relax, Jedi. I come in peace. I am Revan. Do you know anything about what happened here? Uh, did anyone pull this guy through a portal? Anakin? Nope. Ahsoka, did you pull him? No. How did you get here, uh, Revan? Oh, I don't know. That's kind of what I do. I just show up randomly whenever the fuck I want. I don't have respect for rules, even the ones installed by the universe itself. Well, it seems it's not safe to talk here anymore. Do you know somewhere we can go? Follow me, Raven. My name is Revan. Whatever, dude. Revan? Uh, where have I heard that name before? Well, I don't like to brag, but I have many amazing accomplishments. It's no wonder you've heard of me. I can totally relate to the whole no respect for rules thing, Raven. I feel the same way, although I can't break the rules of the universe like you do. It's Revan. But well, it just seems like I do that. But really, I just saw this random glowing crack appear in front of me and jumped into it. It was kind of weird. Ah, I got it. You're that Jedi turned Sith Lord turned Jedi again that helped defeat the old Sith Emperor once. Ah, someone knows their galactic history. Wait, once? I defeated him once and for all. Well, records show that he came back like three more times and was defeated again by other people. Now that's some bullshit. Three more times? How distant into the future have I been transported, and who are you? Around 3,000 years, give or take, buddy. I'm Anakin, this here is my Padawan Ahsoka, and my old Jedi Master Obi-Wan. I see. The technology around here looks completely identical. Does the galaxy seriously not progress at all? We try our best, alright? But I guess we're just Jedi, not inventors. If only we could invent something to get us out of this mess. We really broke the universe. What are we going to do? 
We'll have to play it by ear. We don't know much about the world between worlds. Wait, you're telling me that right there was the fabled world between worlds? Yep. We've had access for a while and been using it to pull guests for our talk show. Talk? Show? What sort of Jedi are you? Uh, good ones, obviously. The best in the business, Snips. Well, it's not so bad. We're kind of in a dead zone right now in the Clone War. Anakin defeated the Sith Lord behind it all a while ago, and the Separatists haven't made a move since. Ah, uh, this must be the future. I've not heard of any Clone Wars, but you say Anakin killed the Sith Lord, so they're extinct. Well, I suppose so. As long as you don't include Count Dooku, Maul Ventress, and that other Zabrak dude, always forget his name. It's a shame they continue to pester the galaxy after all this time. But only four of them. I'm sure they're no match for the entire Jedi Order. Well, they're a slippery bunch. And every time I get close, Dooku just spams his Sith lightning like the no-life he is. I hate when he does that. It hurts so much. Well, don't you know Force Absorption? Um, no, what is that? Seriously, that's like a Padawan-level skill alongside others. You know, uh, battle meditation, healing, astrogation. I have no idea what half those words mean. We have healing? Oh, nah, bro. This shit is whack. Put me back in my time. The Jedi of the future turn into complete weakling pussies. Whoa, Revan, relax on the language there, buddy. We can only use so much of that on the show before Karens in the comment section get mad. I'm Revan. Do you think I give a fuck about your comment section? Dude, we're just trying to help people realize that the Republic are the good guys. And we're doing a great job until the Separatists make a show of their own, of course. Then we'll have competition. Hey, don't be giving them ideas, Sky Guy. What a stupid use of your time. When I get back, I can't wait to tell Mitra about your dumbasses. Oh yeah? And what you do with your time is so much better? I'll have you know I've dedicated my life to destroying Tenebrae once and for all. I will save the galaxy from the Seth and bring balance to the Force. Whoa, wait a minute. You can't do that. That's my thing. Bro thinks he's the Chosen One. What a loser. The Chosen One? The hell is that? Ooh, it's a Jedi prophecy. Says basically what you just said. Some of our oldest and wisest masters all agree. Anakin is the one the prophecy speaks of. Yep, most powerful Force user to ever exist right here. You must be so honored. Eh, uh, Jedi prophecies are almost always bullshit. Careful. You wouldn't want to upset Anakin. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry, trust me. I turn all green and my shirt comes off. Wrong universe, Anakin. And while you may be right, Revan, it's still nice to think that the Sith may finally go extinct soon. So, Revan, what's it like having been on both sides of the Force? I can barely keep up with being a Jedi. Oh, Ahsoka, let me tell you. Being on both sides certainly had its advantages. It's like having a cheat code for the Force. Force cheat codes, huh? I could make use of that. Spill the beans, buddy. Anakin needs to stay as far away from cheat codes. And beans. As much as possible. That's a terrifying thought. The galaxy would never be the same. But turning to the dark side and back again isn't exactly a step-by-step -step process. It's a little more complicated than that. Well, I'm willing to give it a shot. Anything to avoid wearing that black armor, you know? No, I don't know. What are you talking about? We pulled his future self from those portals a while ago. He turns into a Sith Lord. You gotta be fucking with me. There's no way you people are real. This is some kind of trick in the Force. Dude, no, don't freak out. I need serious help. Ugh. Look, I didn't turn back alone. I had help. I guess if I could offer any advice, it would be to never fall in the first place. But I really want to try those dark side cookies at least once. Trust me, Anakin. You're better off staying on the Jedi path. The dark side may have cookies, but the Jedi way will give you peace of mind. What if I baked you some cookies, Anakin? Would that change your mind? That's funny. You think you can bake? I can bake, Anakin. Even Cody loves it when I cook. He's just being nice. Because he wants to be in another one of your little videos? How do you know about that? Know about what? The videos we... Oh, never mind. Wait a minute. Are you making videos with Cody? Well, duh, where do you think all the source material for my comedy comes from? I'm confused. What are you talking about? Obi-Wan has an OnlyFans account, obviously. I don't know what that is. Okay, Boomer. Anakin, how would you even know that I have one? Unless... No, it can't be! That's right, Master. I've seen it all. All of it. And not just the men, but the women and the... You, Master, you're subscribed? Of course, and so is half the galaxy. I told you, Snips, everyone simps for Obi-Wan. Simps? What does that mean? Okay, Boomer. Stop calling me that. I don't know what it means. Okay, okay boomer. boomer. When I get home, I'm turning to the dark side again. If this is the future of the Jedi, it ain't worth it. Don't say things like that, Revan. You shouldn't make jokes about turning to the dark side. It's wrong. When did you get so prude, Ahsoka? I talk about killing children all the time and you don't bat an eye. 
I guess I'm just used to it coming from you, Master. You're all such pathetic excuses for Jedi. This time period, it's... It's deranged. You're all mad. I can't stand that the galaxy is in such a state as to allow you morons to exist within it. If this is the future I fought for, I should have let the Sith Emperor consume the entire galaxy so it could have avoided all this suffering. We're not that bad, Revan. You come from a time when a literal Sith Empire reigned across half the galaxy. We live in a time of relative peace. At least there's only war happening on a handful of planets and not literally fucking all of them. And if anyone here was a disgrace to their order, it was you. Couldn't even make up your mind. It's no wonder the Sith hold you in higher esteem than we do. I will die a Jedi. I will never turn back to the dark. But you people make me question all of reality. A Jedi selling videos of himself doing... Well, it's just... despicable. You think that's bad, you should see Alice. She's number one in the galaxy. Very impressive stuff with Commander Bly. Oh, George Lucas, you son of a bitch. Why have you created these animals? This Raven guy isn't very nice. It's Revan. R-E-V-A-N. And I'm not much of a manners guy. But seeing as I can't go anywhere yet anyway, I guess I'll be sticking around a while. Yeah, we really need to get that crack in the world between worlds fixed. You know, I reckon if we get more Jedi, we could close it if we all used our combined powers. Who needs more Jedi? I'm the Chosen One. I can handle a little Force push. The Chosen One? Bullshit. That prophecy is totally fake. Well, he did destroy the Sith Lord, so I'd say he's well on his way of bringing balance to the Force. That's something you never did, Revan despite dedicating your entire life to it. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. At least I made an impact on the galaxy around me, Obi-Wan. Could you say the same for yourself? Will people remember your name and sing it in the halls of the Jedi Temple when you die? I hate to say it, Raven, but the Jedi don't really sing the names of fallen Jedi in the halls. Say my name wrong again and I'll fucking gut you. But damn, you guys really abandoned all the cool traditions. That sounds a lot like a cult, actually. Not cool. Can we at least try it with just the four of us? I suppose. Come along then, let's try it out. All right, everybody on three. One, two, three. Well, that did something. At least it looks better. So this is the world between worlds, in all its glory. Yep, you can see past, present, or future. It's pretty cool. Amazing. This power, how did you come to possess it? Oh, not long ago. The Sith Lord tried to get me to give it to him before I stopped him. A true Sith Lord wouldn't make such a mistake. If I may leave you with a final word of advice, Anakin. Trust only in the Force. The Sith Lord may very well still be out there. Well, that just happened. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh, probably nothing. Well, that's that. A well-rounded episode. So, uh, how do we end it? If only there was someone here that did something in every episode to end a video. And we were giving permission to let it happen. Oh, come on, Anakin, I'm tired. Would you just kill someone to end the video? Oh, hell no. I'm not getting another sand bath from Padme. You can't make me! Bruh, then what are we supposed to do now? Ugh, I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> what the? Master, you just killed a child. You're just like me for real. Shut up, Anakin. Go get Ahsoka back. I need to go find some of my death sticks. I'm getting too old for this. I can't believe that old man did it. I'm so proud of him. Wow, we actually made it through an entire episode without Anakin talking about sand. Don't remind me, Master. I almost had a good day. Well, I'm not having a great day. It's not fun being murdered. I must say, however, it was quite fun to kill a youngling. I may try it more often. Hey, that's my thing. 